everybody from every s subset of person should be included for something to be diverse. Everyone is welcome, but also making sure that you have everyone there. If you were intentional about getting just a, a variety of people, then that aids in the diversity. Diversity to me means bringing in multiple perspectives, multiple backgrounds, really multiple lenses of the way that people look at the world. I guess diversity to me uh, goes hand in hand with the word unique. A variety at its simplest form, including everyone, having everyone. That every person on the planet is different in some way. And it's important to appreciate the differences as well as to value the ways in which in which these differences have shaped a person and, and who they are. These things are part of people's lives and maybe they do need to be recognized and advocated for, but they also need to be seen not as the first line, not as the first statement, not the first thing that this person is X. I would like to see more white employers employing people of color. Diversity, I feel, has been twisted uh, nowadays to be focused only on race, which you shouldn't base the diversity of any place based on the color of people's skin. I show my own diversity to others by making sure I make everyone feel welcome. Even me being willing to do this interview, like I wanted to share my experience where it's being asked. I've helped a couple kids like realize their sexuality just by being open, just by including it in the conversation. I think as long as you be yourself, I think it's pretty easy to stay diverse. Learning another language or at least learning some words in another language, I think that's all part of trying to be open and welcoming. One of the best things we can do is like learn from from people and live through their stories and their experiences. And when you have a diverse group of people in your business, in your community, in your friend group, in your networking group, it enriches everyone because you learn about things that otherwise you never would have been exposed to. You never know, it might be people around you that would have never experienced a person like you with a story like yours if you had not have shared it. People are not saying that black lives are more important than other lives. And there's so much misinterpretation of that. I mean, black lives matter, no question. I, I don't know why it's like such a, a controversial thing. I think that like it's a it's a given, black lives matter. Countering it with all lives matter, it's just that people don't realize that yes, all lives matter, but black lives are the ones being treated like they don't. To me, black lives matter means that for way too long our country and our society have allowed personal racism and systemic racism to run rampant throughout our institutions. I do think there's an opportunity for us every day and in many places to say, no, I understand what this movement is about. Nobody's saying that white lives don't matter, Hispanic lives don't matter, Asian lives don't matter. That's not, that's never been the point. Looking for more white people to let people of color who have been discriminated against to share their stories. There are still things you can do. I can still try and educate myself. I can still try and listen to these people. I can still try and include them. At the same time, try not to overspeak them on this matter. And recognizing that this is not something that happened in history. This is something that continues to the present day. And until we understand that this is happening and be willing to do something about it, then the status quo will continue. At some point, there needs to be more of a push for change. That's the greatest part about this country is you can make the change yourself. When you see that there is a situation where somebody is being racially profiled or discriminated against, you really can use that where your very presence can de-escalate a situation. How can we give them the platforms where they have the voice and they have the visibility? Not that they're not that we're speaking on their behalf, but that they have the platform so that they can speak on their behalf.
there's no real solution. That's why I have confidence. That's why we need to, as a people, go out and elect leaders that we think are going to help solve this problem. Making sure that we have elected officials in all branches of government, at all levels of government, who understand the impact of personal racism as well as systemic racism in our society. Uh, one of the pushes that I think that has come out of this is uh, the Crown Act has been passed in um, a couple of states, which bans um, discrimination against natural hair in the workplace. A direct impact has been that it, it has incited communication and like open discussion. This is not a short-term problem and it's not a short-term solution. So I think it's important that we stay strong. And I think more change will occur. I think some somebody made a really good analogy and it's like somebody's sitting at the dinner table and uh, they're all in a group and, you know, one of them doesn't have a plate and everybody's eating and he's like, well, I'm hungry. And they're all like, well, we're hungry too. And he's like, well, yeah, but you guys are eating. I'm not eating. He's like, well, you know, don't worry about it. Well, yeah, somebody's got to worry about it because, yeah, everybody's hungry, everybody matters, but one person isn't eating, and that's a problem.